When did you come up with the title? Do you still recall where you were? I found us from Town Square. Yeah. Do you know where you were? Yeah. Um, I was actually living at the Row Hotel at the Down Square. And I sent my artist, Corinne Hardy and David Lupton, the guys who usually do my artwork for my records, I sent them about 35 different record titles, one of them being a fondness for hometown scars. And he was just like, man, this is the one that sticks to me. And I was like, go fly with it. Do you know when you made this up? Yeah, I was reading a William S. Burroughs book. Um, which book was I reading? I forgot what I was reading by Burroughs, and he was explaining his affection and fondness for, uh, you know, getting high and all of this stuff. And uh, I just kind of put it together, you know. And uh, so Burroughs kind of inspired the title, William S. Burroughs. Are you familiar with him? Yeah. yeah. And, um, well, and my last questions. Uh, hometown. Uh, well, you saying New York, Amsterdam? Yeah, it's you. Okay, okay. Yeah, hometown scars. Um, but I mean, physical hometown. That's it. Okay. I, you know, I I spend a lot of time in New York, Amsterdam, and Los Angeles. So if you want to be general about it, the answer, yeah, yeah, New York City, and but I didn't mean it in that way. If I'm, what I mean by the title, I guess, is like... I think it's, for me, is an accepting who you are. Yeah, there's like, oh, no. there's a comfort in dwelling in your own pain and sorrow. Do you do it? Yeah, I embrace every emotion that I go through. But I hope also the good ones. Good and bad. Okay, it's good. But in particular, the more confusing and sorrowful ones. Why? Because I think I learn a lot more from that. It makes me stronger. But isn't it sometimes more, yeah, how, 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 how do I say, more uh, comforting, not always to really go into those emotions? It's like this. I miss the comfort in being sad. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's weird. It's, you know, I'm, I'm okay with everything that I go through. You know, I've been through a lot of shit as a person and, um, <clears throat> it only makes me stronger. Even, even the really happy times in my life. It, it, it makes me stronger. What is the last happy happy time that you had? <laughs> a couple of days ago. Yeah. Actually, last night. What? Personal. <laughs> okay. It's no, I had, I had I was one of my girlfriends visited me, and uh, we had a really nice time, and it was nice to share intimacy, and uh, be held and just to step away from my everyday workaholic fixations that I have. It was nice to step out of my own personal endeavors and just kind of pay attention to somebody else, you know. I spend a lot of time on my own. People think that I'm this famous, you know, whatever fixed ideas they have in their head about me that I'm surrounded by a lot of people all the time but I'm I'm a, a ser I'm a radical loner. I can fill up a venue for 3 to 5000 kids or a thousand kids whatever but and I can have 10 girls lining up wanting to spend the night with me but 99% out of the times I'll go home alone. <laughs> 